Hey guys, Guidos from Surfshark here. Over the years, we received a bunch of questions from our users. So in this video, we'll answer top most frequently asked ones. As always, if you like our content, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you have any questions that weren't answered in this video, comment down below. What is Surfshark? Here at Surfshark, we provide you a variety of tools to secure your digital life. Our goal is to make security easy for everyone. The tools that we provide are Surfshark VPN, which will encrypt and protect your online connection. It will also give you the ability to change your online location to anywhere in the world. Surfshark Alert will alert you if any of your passwords are leaked online, notifying you to change them as soon as possible. This way you can be sure that all of your passwords are secure. Surfshark Search will provide you an ad-free and private web searches. And lastly, our newly released Surfshark Antivirus, which will remove remove any viruses or malware from your device. How can I get Surfshark Antivirus? In August, we launched a special package on our website called Surfshark One. This package includes all of our products alongside our brand new Surfshark Antivirus. You can get this package from our main website or from your account settings menu. By clicking the Antivirus tab, you can upgrade your current subscription to get Surfshark Antivirus. Can I share my Surfshark subscription? Yes, you'll have no problems connecting all of your devices at once. But again, keep in mind that Surfshark has a fair usage policy, so any activity that would significantly increase the number of active sessions on your account could be detected as abusive, and limitations might be set on your account. Will Surfshark work on consoles? The answer is yes, Surfshark will work on consoles. However, the setup is a bit more complicated than simply using our app on devices such as your computer or phone. Instead, you have two options to set up your console. The first one is to use a router that supports an OpenVPN client and have it share the VPN connection to your console. The other option is to use a Windows PC with either a Wi-Fi or Ethernet cable VPN hotspot setup. If you'd like to know how to do that, click on this card here. Why is my speed slower when using a VPN? Internet speed will always take a minor hit when using a VPN, and that is because a VPN encrypts your internet traffic with advanced encryption methods. In addition, your connection has to travel a bit further to reach its destination, depending on the VPN server that you're using. All of this is to ensure your privacy online. If you're looking to increase your speed while using a VPN, click on this card here. We made a whole video on how to do just that. How to install Surfshark on an Amazon Fire Stick. You can download the Surfshark app on your Fire Stick via the Amazon Store, just like any other Fire Stick app. One important thing to keep in mind is that if you have an older first generation Fire Stick, the Surfshark app will not work. You can quickly identify the one that you have by looking at the remote. For more information, check out our Fire Stick how-to video on our channel. Why am I getting so many captures when using a VPN? Captures are used to prove that you're not a robot. When you're connected to a VPN server along with a lot of other people, the website that you're trying to access might think that automated machines are simultaneously causing these multiple requests from the same IP. Therefore, you start receiving captures. To avoid them, switch to a server that has less load. This small bubble on our apps indicates how loaded each server is. So just pick a location that has less load and you should be good to go. Why doesn't CleanWeb block YouTube ads? To answer this question, first we need to know how CleanWeb works. To put it simply, CleanWeb checks various DNS addresses of ads or other traffic and only blocks what is considered malicious. As YouTube is not a dangerous website and the ads seen there are not recognized as harmful, they are not blocked by our system. What is Bypasser in Surfshark? Bypasser is a Surfshark VPN feature available on Windows, Android, and browser extensions. Bypasser allows you to choose which specific apps or websites you want to route via VPN and which ones not. This is useful if you only want to use the VPN on specific apps or websites. A quick note is that this feature used to be known as Whitelister, so if you have an older version of our app, you may see it named differently. When will you implement features like port forwarding, dedicated IP, or other? Here at Surfshark, we are always looking to improve our services. At the moment, you can vote on various suggestions via our website in the Account Settings menu. Here you will find a tab called Product Ideas. To vote, find the idea that you like and click Upvote. Our team will consider the ideas that have the most votes for implementation. What is the difference between the Surfshark app and the Surfshark browser extension? The difference is that the app secures your entire device, including all of your apps and browsers, while the browser extension, on the other hand, only secures your browser traffic. We provide users the flexibility to use one or another. For example, in some cases, you may be unable to install our app due to the lack of admin rights but the extension may work beautifully. An important thing to keep in mind is that you should never, never run the app and the extension connected at the same time, as this could cause major connection issues. Do I need to use Surfshark if I use Tor? The short answer is no. You don't, because Tor helps you stay private on its own. The only problem is that it could be very, very slow. If speed is an issue for you, we recommend switching to a VPN instead, which will offer you both privacy, speed, and plus a plethora of other features to customize your connection. Is there a reason to not have a VPN enabled? Yes, there are few specific cases of why you may want to disable your VPN. 
For instance, when using your bank account, you may want to disable the VPN so that the bank doesn't think it's being accessed from another country. Or if you are a competitive gamer where lower ping is super important, I'm looking at you Valorant and CSGO players, then you may also wish to disable the VPN to allow better ping. Of course, in these cases, we recommend using our bypasser feature, which will still keep you secured and allow you to bypass the VPN for those specific instances. How to know if my VPN is working? The best way to confirm that your VPN is working is by checking your current IP online. Hop over to surfshock.com slash what is my IP and you will see if you are protected. We highly recommend checking out our full video on how to see if a VPN is working and for that click on this card here. Which Surfshark social media platforms are the most active? We are available on the most popular social media platforms, including Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, Reddit, YouTube, and even TikTok. We are the most active on Instagram and Twitter, so make sure to follow us there. But true Surfshark fans hang out on Discord. Invitations to the server are sent out to our loyal customers every month, so stay tuned. Why is Google showing my real location? There are a few reasons why Google may be sharing your real location. For instance, your GPS may still be enabled on your device, giving Google access to your location. So it's important that you disable GPS if your device has it enabled. You should also modify your Google account settings and disable location history. Another quick tip is to clear your browser cache while connected to the VPN. When is Surfshark merch coming? We don't have a specific date yet, but we hope to release Surfshark merch as soon as possible. If you have any ideas on what sort of merch you'd like to see, feel free to drop us a comment down below. You guys saw me rock this shirt and many videos, but we have many more designs that we could do. We also have water bottles, so definitely let us know what you think. And that's all the questions I have for you today. Don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it, and as always, stay tuned for more videos every week.